Hey everyone, Tony Dragon here. Uh, I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, now with and now with E3, you know, having coming out, come out, and all their trailers. Oh, it's it's gonna be a long while before I catch up, but I'm gonna try. Anyway, a new rule. Um, I'm going to upload five videos at maximum every a day. Uh, to help both with me not having to edit every single video as quickly as possible in quick succession, succession give myself a break in between and at the same time so you guys don't end up with 20 videos in a single day you know appearing in your, in your subscription box um, so yeah m maximum five videos a day and uh, with E3 coming uh, having come out already I've unfortunately missed a live stream event uh, I'm going to have a lot of content to go through. A lot. A whole lot. Oh, just thinking about it gives me a headache. But anyway, here I am with the Battlefield 1 official gameplay trailer. It's not. It was not an E3. Uh, this came out a long time ago. This came out a while ago already. I'm just catching up with some of the older videos that I missed out on. And then I'm going to move on to E3 stuff. Uh, but, yeah. So, alright, let's, let's start with the official game. I mean, I love the trailer. I really did love the trailer for Battlefield 1. It was so epic. It was so much fun. But now, I, let's see how the gameplay works. Because I think they only showed, like, a certain part of the gameplay in the, in the cinematic trailer. And it looked like a lot of fun already, just from, like, those two seconds of gameplay. It was, like... It's like a mustard bomb or kind of a gas bomb. And you have to use this uh, gas helmet, the gas mask, which look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's just start the gameplay trailer. All right, so start the video in three, two, one. in-game footage, but I feel like that's cinematics. motorcycle riding and at the same time gun shooting. Nice! The hatch and the tank. The biplane uh, maneuverability looks pretty cool. Yeah, I gotta take down those Zeppelins too. Close combat with axes and shovels, that's a nice touch. The artillery, uh, artillery strikes. Those are important. Oh boy. Horses! Okay, so that's where the horses come up. First on Xbox One with EA access. So yeah, that's up. It looks like that's where the horses come up. There's like a train robbery going on. Maybe you can attack the trains at any time you want, like the supply lines. That could be fun. Um, looking pretty good. It's looking really good. <laughs> um, song choice. I, I prefer the first one. I prefer the the, the song they had for the first uh, trailer. This one was fine, but I don't know. The added lyrics, as, or at least the singing, just. I didn't feel like it was necessary. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm trying to sit up in this beanbag chair and it keeps sinking in. 
But yeah, you can tell I'm really tired right now. It's like 3:30 in the morning, I believe. But I don't want to fall asleep because I have to leave early. Take my car in. Ugh. But it's looking really fun. Um, the tank, the the tank catch. You know, that's kind of a question. Like, how are we gonna go up against the tank? Back then, it was really hard. All you really had were the artillery units. Uh, but those can't move around. You, you're just stationed there. Those are taken out in some way, or like all the people at the base are killed, and you're pretty much screwed on the field. Um, but looks like you can like if you can somehow maneuver around the tank, you can like get inside the tank and kill the soldiers inside there somehow. That can like that can be pretty cool. That's pretty useful too. Um, the biplane maneuverability looks to be pretty smooth. Uh, it looks. It looks, it's looking like it's going to be hard to mo drive the motorcycle though, but then again I saw that one of them had a sidecar so maybe it'll be like a two player sort of thing, like one person uh, driving, the other person shooting, like well, we, you know, when you're just by yourself in the campaign you decide if you're the shooter or the driver, or maybe you're always going to be the shooter, that would probably make more sense, you know, you would know when to defend yourself while the other person, the computer is driving you to the location you need to go to. That makes that probably makes a lot more sense. Um, take down the zeppelins, of course. That's always an important part of warfare. Take down the air, you know, gain air superiority. Uh, like I said, um. The horses, I would not see much use for them, but it seems here it was they were being used because of the area, and for a train robbery or attacking the train. Maybe there's supply lines, you can interfere with that multiple times. That could be a nice gameplay element. You know, it's not just killing everyone, but you can actually weaken their, you know, their side by, you know, demoralizing them, taking on their food supplies their weapon supplies you know that could be an interesting aspect of the game so yeah I'm still excited for Battlefield 1 I really am it's been a while since I got into the first per I played a first person shooter game and look it's looking like Battlefield 1 might, might be my reintroduction into the genre so so yeah I'll, I'll definitely be getting the Battlefield 1 when it comes out uh, as I said, uh, I have a lot of, uh, ugh, sorry, I have a lot of catching up to do, so, I have to get started on that, um, so, yeah, if they come out with another trailer, well, they have multiplayer announced here, that's like, yeah, multiplayer gameplay, <sighs> so much, so much to go through. Thank you, E3. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, next time, I don't know what video, what video is going to be. So, <laughs> either way, until then, I'm Tony Dragon. Bye bye.